Most programs are stored as basically standard text files, and in order to work with them, you need a text editor. Now, when you're used to writing stuff, you probably use something like uh, Microsoft Word or a similar product. Those programs actually are not text editors. They allow you to write stuff, but they have a lot of additional information in them. They store fonts and alignments and all other types of stuff. And if you ever go, for example, if you had a .doc file or a .docx file, and you looked at it using uh, cat, you'd get a bunch of gibberish printed out because it's not a plain text file. There are lots of different text editors. If you're on a Windows machine, you could feel free to use Notepad, which is in many ways a horrible text editor. It's very basic, but it you know could do what you want. Uh, there are better ones that you can download. On a Linux box, there are a number of different options and the one that I typically go with is VI or the more recent Vim. So VI was actually created to be kind of a programming text editor and it turns out that when I use VI on my machine it automatically takes me to Vim not just VI. Most of the time when I run VI I'm gonna say VI space and give it a file name the file that I want to edit so I'll call it edit.txt here. Now, just like the command line, VI has a little bit of a learning curve to it. It's not a point and click interface. And it has two modes. So right now we are in what's called command mode. And so if I start typing stuff, it does not just print out the way you would expect it to. I have to give it appropriate commands. So the first set of commands we want to talk about are commands that allow us to edit. So one of the first ones is to hit I. A lowercase I, you'll notice down here at the bottom, it says insert now. I can type stuff, whatever I want. In Vim, I can also move around with the keystrokes and technically you can hit I and treat this a lot like a word processor. However, if you do it that way, you're really not taking full advantage of what VI and Vim have to offer. To get out of the insert mode, you hit escape, and that takes you back to the command mode. You'll note that the insert down here disappeared. So lowercase i has you insert right where you are. A capital I puts you also in insert mode, but it puts you in insert mode at the very beginning of the line. An A, so if I hit A right here on the D, I go into insert mode, but it moves me forward. It's an append, so it goes after. It can be helpful if you're already at the end of the line. If I hit I, I'm typing before the period. If I hit A, I'm typing after it. And then capital A does an append at the end of the line. I actually find that I use I and capital A a lot. You know, different people will find different keystrokes to be helpful. A lowercase r replaces a single character. So if I hit R and then lowercase a, it replaces that one character. A capital R puts you in replace mode. So in replace mode, it overwrites what was already there. Now, my fingers just automatically did something. You might notice this down here says the file name and it says there are two lines and 36 characters and it was written. How did I do that? Well. I hit escape once again to get out of my insert or replace mode. And then I use the command to save it. And in VI, there's a number of commands that you can get to by hitting colon. Colon W is short for write. And so it saves the file as it's named. You can actually do a colon W and then give it a different file name and it will save it as that file instead. When I'm done, a colon Q will quit out. But if I had done some editing and I try to colon Q, it says that I'm not allowed to do that. Which means I either need to save and quit, so I could do a colon W and a colon Q separately, or I can force the quit. I don't really want that line, that's kind of gibberish. So I can do a Q bang, and I say, no, I really want to quit, and I get out. Most of the time when I'm exiting, though, I will actually do a colon WQ, so write and quit at the same time. So 
that's your basic introduction to VI, just getting in, doing inserts, and playing with basic commands and then being able to save and get out. There's a lot more commands. We'll come back and talk about those in other videos.